It's on the Chris Budget Gears and Reviews, and this is going to be the first of several videos that I'm going to be doing on the Works M6 inside the waistband holster for the Glock 17, 19, 34, 45, plus more. And it works with the Olight Balder Mini Weapon Light. And this is a right-handed holster. Now, I've reviewed a lot of products on this channel. And I usually don't do this. But today, I'm going to put the Chris Budget Gears of Review seal of approval on this works holster. I am really impressed with it. This is really a good holster. It really is. And I'm a... So we're going to make this kind of a first impressions video. Because like I said, I'm going to do several videos on this. So we're going to hit on a lot of different topics. But we'll go back and we'll do more in-depth reviews on certain things I like about this holster. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the holster. So we're just going to make this a first impressions video. Once again, we got the Glock 17 Generation 5. We are clear. Nothing inside of the chamber. The first out of the first thing I notice is that it feels good. It feels like it's built good. Good quality. You can see all the lines in it. So you can tell that it's good build quality. Now one thing, now this is more of a personal preference. I'm probably gonna I'm going to end up taking this claw from off of here. Cause I'm not really a claw person. You know, me myself, I'm a little bit husky to say the least. So you know. The claw pushes the gun a little bit more closer to your body, and because I'm a little bit more husky, I really don't like that claw. So I probably end up taking that claw from off of there. But other than that, I mean, I like it. So let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. The first thing that really impressed me with this host is this right here. How securely it locks into place. And yes, it passes the shake test. 100% passes the shake test. Now, this is the retention level that they had it from the factory. It is a little bit tight. I'll probably loosen it up a little bit more. But as you can see, it's a good solid lockup. You don't have to worry about your firearm inadvertently coming out of the holster. I like it. I like that lockup. I like that. Good positive lockup. Another thing is, they actually have a little cutout right here for the Olight Mini Balder, where you can actually charge your weapon light while still on your firearm, so you don't even have to take your weapon out of the holster. You get to slide your little charging port right inside there and charge your weapon light while your firearm is still holstered. So that's another thing I like too. That's real innovative right there. I like that. But this is what really impressed me with this holster, is this right here. And I have another holster right here. And this is the Fist Defender holster. And I've been using their brand of holsters for about five, six years. And I'm really upset with myself that I've been using this bullshit right here. And that I didn't find this works holster a lot sooner. And this is the main reason why. Now remember, we're going to be doing several videos, so I'm going to do a whole video specifically on what I'm about to show you right now. As you see with this works holster, you see how that clip is, how it's canned back up on the inside to give a more secure lock up on your belt. I got an EDC belt right here, one and a half inches. Let me show you. As you can see, when I put that belt through that holster... You can see where that little hook right here at the bottom, where it catches on to your belt. So you can kind of imagine that when you go to draw your firearm, you don't have to worry about the holster coming off with your firearm. As you can see, because they have that little hook right here to secure the holster to your belt. Now let's compare that to this Fierce Defender holster. This bullshit I've been carrying for about five to six years. And you can see where they don't have no definitive hook that locks into your belt. This holster is so easy to take from off of a belt. Is that when I'm wearing this holster, all I have to do is just kind of lift that up. And I can take the whole holster off with the firearm still in it. That's not what you want in an EDC holster. 
when you put that holster onto your belt, you want it to be secure. So that if you have to draw your firearm, you don't have to worry about the holster coming off with your firearm. And with this fist defender holster, you just don't have that security. And I've wore this holster a lot during the five to six years I had it. And this holster will walk up on you to the point where you have to push it back down. And that's not what you want in the EDC holster. It really ain't. It's not. So, with, see how easy I could just kind of slip that from under there? There's no real hook really securing that in there. All they got is just a little slightly angled base. And if for some reason your belt kind of works its way there, that holster can just come off with your firearm when you're drawing it. That's not what you want. This is what you want right here. When you put that belt inside there, that clip locks onto your belt. I like that. I really do. I like that. I like that. But, I mean, just as a first impression, I mean, this is a damn good holster, man. I wish I would have found this holster sooner, man. I really do. I've been carrying that bullshit around for five to six years, man. I'm really upset with myself. I really am. I'm really upset that I've been carrying around some bullshit. <laughs> just to keep it straight up, man. I mean, that holster right there that I just showed you, that fist defender holster I just threw on the ground somewhere, that motherfucker is some bullshit. I can't wait to throw it away. I think I'm going to go ahead and do my um, secondary video on this one specific topic. I'm going to go ahead and do that tomorrow, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that holster. I like this holster. If you're looking for a good inside the waistband holster, I can highly suggest this works holster. Just for the simple fact of how they did that clip right here, that right there alone is enough for you to want to go ahead and jump on this holster. And the crazy thing is I watched reviews of this holster on YouTube and no other YouTuber mentioned that right there. How they got that clip right there so it gives a more secure lock up to your belt. Nobody else mentioned that. But yeah man, I like it. Good solid lock up. Nice and secure. I apologize about that. That's about the second or third time I did that. That's how... Secure that lockup is. <laughs> I need to loosen it up a little bit, but look how positive that sounds. I like that, man. Another thing is, I like that sweat shield. Now, the only option they have is to have the sweat shield, so they don't have an option for you not to have a sweat shield. But after putting this on last night, I kind of actually like that sweat shield because once again, I'm a little bit husky. So that sweat shield kind of uh, help you if you ever have to draw your firearm, being able to clear your garment and also clear your little love handles. So I kind of like that sweat guard. I like that. It's a damn good holster, man. I'm upset with myself that I didn't jump on this sooner, man. Once again, the Works M6 inside the waistband holster. They also got an outside the waistband holster too. And I really like this holster, man. I think y'all should jump on it, man. I really do. But that's it, though. This is going to be a first little impressions of the holster. As I stated, we're going to have more videos coming. We're going to talk specifically about why I like this clip so much. We're going to have a video of me wearing the actual holster, showing you how it conceals. So we're going to do all that stuff, man. I really like this, man. I got to put the Chris Budget Gear reviews, seal of approval on the works holster, man. But that's it, though, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned if y'all want to see more dealing with this holster, man. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.